I'd like to explain the custom setup process. It's pretty straightforward. You order service, then you tell us what pages you want, what your site name is going to be, um, what specific widgets you would like, such as you want a, a weather radar map, or if you want a PayPal donate button, things like that, the little things. And then you complete the first form. That covers the basic wireframe of your site. Then you go on to step two, where you're able to upload things that you want specifically on your page. Because obviously we don't know anything about your organization. So this form right here, where it says content, logo, and images, that helps you tell us what you want to appear on your pages. We've broken it up into sections for you just to keep people from accidentally losing their place in the forms. So the first covers the main logo, the home page, and other common pages that almost every club seems to want to have. The second is for your specific pages. Now, the third is specific requests, such as if you would like to have a custom club membership form where people can join your club and pay for your membership through an online PayPal payment, for example, this is the form that you'd want to fill out. Then if you want us to add user accounts for you as part of your custom setup package, for example, you want us to add some user accounts so that groomers can fill out trail condition updates, you would fill out the add user accounts form. And then when everything's done and you're confident that you've successfully pulled everything off your old website, you would want to fill out the domain name server change. So I'm going to go ahead and cover each one of these steps in greater detail for those that would like to have us review it. But that's the gist of it. It's a pretty quick process. The forms might take you about 15, 20 minutes to fill out. A little bit more if you have to hunt around for logos and photos and things like that. But keep it in mind that as part of your custom setup package, we want to make sure that your website is working, meaning we will go through all the heavy lifting of getting all the pages configured, all the sidebars and widgets configured, as well as your custom applications such as the Facebook Sync and the Flickr photo albums. So we'll set up all that back-end work and leave you with a, a shell of a website, for example, if you don't give us any content. Now, this is a good thing in the sense that your website can launch even though your pages aren't fully fleshed out it, but yet you can still provide the most important thing that club members want to see, such as upcoming events, club news, and trail condition reports, for example, for a snowmobile club. So you fill out the custom setup worksheet, you know, typically within a few business days, we'll give you a, a working site. Then if you're ready to transfer your domain name server over where you've pulled everything off your old page that you want, you fill out the, the optional domain name server change, we change your domain name over so that the domain starts pointing at our new club hosting site and then you're up and running where you can add events, you can add trail conditions, things like that. Then, you know, throughout the rest of the setup process, we can change your headers out. We can add custom photos to specific pages. We can create photo albums for you. But at least your site's up and running as quickly as possible. We know that it's important for clubs, that's why we want to make sure that we can do that because many clubs usually don't think about things like managing the website until it's time to think about stuff related to the club, meaning if it's a snowmobile club in the summertime when it would be the best time to transfer your website, many clubs would think of nothing but fishing. So this the website doesn't get brought up again until November or December when it comes time to update your first trail condition and you find that it's still a pain in the butt and then you switch to club hosting. So go ahead and start the setup forms. Um, we try to explain them in detail on each form. However, if you would like to have more information, feel free to watch the video that correlates to the form. Thank you.